Howdy all! Welcome to Adventures of Keno. Today's journey will take us to Mission San Juan Batista to start our look into the history of California missions. It's going to be a fun time exploring this place and also the surrounding community of San Juan Batista. So let's get going and check out this wonderful area. As we head to San Juan Batista, here's a general history about the California mission system. Established by Catholic priests of the Franciscan order, the goal of these missions was to evangelize the indigenous people while being backed by the military force of the Spanish Empire. The latter of which needed to secure its claim within California. The other goal was to create colonies in the newly conquered Spanish California. The first mission, San Diego de Alcala, was founded by Spanish friar Junipero Serra on July 16, 1769. The mission system operated until the first Mexican Republic secularized the missions with the Mexican Secularization Act of 1833, which emancipated the indigenous peoples from the missions. In all, 21 Franciscan missions were founded in Alta California, and we're heading to one of them, Mission San Juan Batista. We're here at Mission San Juan Batista. Let's go check it out. Mission San Juan Batista was the 15th of 21 missions in California. Founded on June 24th, 1797 by Father Laswin, it was named after St. John the Baptist. The name would eventually become incorporated into the city that grew up around the mission. The Ohlone people, the original residents of the valley, were brought to live at the mission and baptized, followed by the Yokuts from the Central Valley. By 1803, there were 1,036 Native Americans living at the mission. Ranching and farming was very successful at the mission. This mission became known as the Mission of Music from a choir of Native American boys, directed by Father Pedro Esteban Tapaz, arrived in 1812. Barracks for the soldiers and nunnery, the Jose Castro House and other buildings were constructed around a large grassy plaza in front of the church and can be seen today in their original form. The town of San Juan Batista grew up around the mission and expanded rapidly during the California Gold Rush. It continues to be a thriving community today. The mission is situated adjacent to the San Andreas fault line. As a result, it has suffered damage from numerous earthquakes, such as those of 1800 and 1906. However, the mission was never entirely destroyed at once. It was restored initially in 1884, and then again in 1949 with funding from the Hearst Foundation. The mission and its grounds were featured in the 1958 Alfred Hitchcock film, Vertigo. It is now a California State Historic Park and was declared a National Historic Landmark in 1970. It is the only state park with a Spanish plaza in the state of California. The park includes Mission San Juan Batista, the Jose Castro House, the Veneta House, and several other historical buildings. Modeled after a Spanish town, 30 historic buildings occupy the area surrounding the mission. This offers visitors a look at what life was like during the mission era. Mission San Juan Batista has served daily mass since 1797 and functions as a parish church for the Diocese of Monterey. On the day we visited, Several school groups were on the mission grounds and plaza for field trips, and as luck would have it, there was a wedding taking place in the church of the San Juan Batista Mission. The church can be reserved for weddings and baptisms. This mission is one of the largest of all California missions. The Three Bell Caprinaro, or Bell Wall, located by the church entrance, was fully restored in 2010. Much of the church remains as it appeared in 1812. When inside the church, pay attention to the floor tiles and you'll notice 
little animal prints in some of the tiles. The animal prints were made while the tiles were left out to dry in the sun. The mission includes a cemetery with the remains of over 4,000 Native American converts and Europeans buried there. Directly next to the mission, there is a portion of the original El Camino Real or the King's Highway. It is unpaved and you can take the steps down and walk on it. This path is below the mission and cemetery. The stairs are on a hill called a fault scarp. This hill is the San Andreas Fault. So what is there to do? I'm glad you asked. The mission is open for visitors to walk through and learn of its history. There are buildings original to its founding that surround the plaza. You can walk through the buildings and learn about the founding of the mission along with the city that formed around it. And this includes unique exhibits such as the blacksmith shop, the Castro house, which includes this section of wall showcasing the Adobe construction, indoor exhibits such as the interior of the Zanetta house, and the wagon collection inside the plaza stables. And over here is the Horno. Here visitors can watch bread being baked and an outdoor oven that was used in early California. There are living history days held on the first Saturday of each month from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. There are also things to do in the downtown area. There are restaurants, specialty shops, a bakery, which includes a welcome center. There are also festivals throughout the year for visitors to attend and experience the community of San Juan Batista. Well, the church bells are ringing, which means our adventure at San Juan Batista is over. Be sure to watch the end of the video to check out our next adventure. Let's head back to the studio. I hope you had a good time exploring Mission San Juan Batista and the town that surrounds it. Now, full disclaimer, while the history of the missions are fascinating, we are aware of the unfavorable relationship between the missions and the Native Americans. Please subscribe and follow us on our social medias. We will love to see new faces. Anyway, I hope you're ready for our next adventure because we're going to the Fresno Model Railroad Club in Selma, California. It's going to be a fun time seeing all those model trains in this wonderful clubhouse. But until then, see you later, folks, and may your gifts bless the world.